All right, welcome back to Most Hated Podcast. We uh, just got done seeing uh, Sin Shitty, and uh, it lived up to its name. Yeah, right? it was not that good. Really, well, I mean, it was for what it was, I guess it was the weaker of all the stories anyway. I mean, the, no, I, I think if they would have did it right, and well, actually uh-huh. made a real prequel instead of, like, intertwining all these, like, storylines that weren't in the book order. Yeah, I know, but, like, they did the story from the book. No, the, I have the book. It's yeah, I know, like they, that. that's what my David kill for. It's very different than what they showed. Yeah, there's, there's no, like, killing center or work with Nancy. No, I know. I'm not talking about that shit. I'm talking about the Dan Kill Four story. It, it's only, it's only. Yeah, I know it's only like, that, but it yeah. wasn't enough to fill the whole movie because they did that story. But I didn't feel like they did it right. Okay. Like I said, I know. I read the book, too. Like, I got it. I, I got the book. I know. I read it. Wow. I know. You haven't read it? Yeah, I have. Fuck you. I own it. You don't. I have all of them. Calling you out. Calling you out, motherfucker. Call me out. Okay. <laughs> I own them. Like, they're on my, on my bookshelf. Right next to my Harry Potter books. You don't have Harry Potter books. I do, too. I have them all. Trace gave them to me. You're so <laughs> fucking gay. I don't read them. I just have them. Their bike's going to want to read them when he's older, though. What? No, I've never let my kids read that gay shit. Dude, Emma Watson came from Harry Potter. Yeah. Tell movie, me you don't appreciate the that. The movies. So he can watch the movies. They read the books. <laughs> he can... He can watch the movies in his room while he jerks Spoilers. off. Spoilers. Spoilers. Dumbledore dies. Oh fuck! <laughs> Double door. Double door. Double doors. <laughs> Double door. <laughs> Double door. All right, but anyway, okay, we had a couple. Awesome. Fucking we had a couple. We had a couple. We had a couple fucking gripes. First of all, why is real Ray Liotta the same character in every fucking movie? Exactly. He's been playing. He's trying to flush the coke. He's trying to flush the coke that he bought from his own son Johnny Depp <laughs> down the toilet. And the movie called Blow. And then he ate his own brain. Like I think, <laughs> I, I'm pretty confident. That Goodfellas is a prequel of the Blow. Yeah, it probably is. Dude. <laughs> that, that, that's how we. That's how we fucking got his shit. You know, that, like the, he's one of the kids. Yep. In the movie, you just don't realize because he's not grown up yet. Yep. Then he goes straight for a little bit, and then he becomes who goes straight. Ray Liotta because he becomes a cop, and then Hannibal Lecter makes him eat his own brain. <laughs> <laughs> I remember him eating his own brain. No, that was that was after Blow. Yeah, I know. I'm saying like he went, he went straight for a little bit. Yeah, he, he had to because the, like the cops were gonna also he was a cop and observing report. They were gonna they whacked his friend like they, they literally like, jerked him off and brought him up. He's like, no, no, don't jerk him, <laughs> don't jerk him off. Also, another gripe. Uh, yeah. For some reason, I feel like I need to switch all insurance to Allstate now. <laughs> yeah. This is. This dude, this big black guy gets on the screen. He's like, welcome That's all, to Allstate. This is Allstate. <laughs> this is Allstate. <laughs> you can save money by switching to Geico. Wait. All right. Let's break it down pros and cons style. First okay. of all, hilarious sex scenes. <laughs> oh Every God. time someone's getting banged in that movie. I thought it was MacGruber. Yeah, it was MacGruber action. Like, they were they were all saying something ridiculous. Uh, the guy from uh, SVU gets some fucking mad pussy in this movie. <laughs> yeah, but he does. <laughs> Just, like, thinking about him. I can't even like, Yeah, I know. Side, side note, though, no, he right also no, played no. Casey Jones no, in the no, original. No, but seriously? The Ninja Turtles movie. Who? The guy who's from SVU. No, check this out. He was no. Casey Jones. Was he? Yeah, in the original Ninja Turtles movie. Really? Oh, Elias Coteus is Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Yep. But, like, seriously, when uh, Ray, Li- Ray Liotta, a.k.a. Johnny Depp's dad. <laughs> a.k.a. Goodfellow. <laughs> a.k.a. Goodfellow. Like, when, when he's fucking the one chick at the beginning... He's like fucking her froggy style. Like he's yeah, got his he legs out to the side like yeah, a frog. Yeah, he is. He's, he's like, definitely he, he, an extra frog. He, he, he. And what do you say? Like I'm the, the boss or something like that? I can't remember. Yeah, something like that. I'm the. I'll show you who's the boss. Yeah. Frog style, and you see his ass. Yeah, and you he, see his asshole. It, it's old and wrinkly. It's fucking brown starfish. Yep. Rusty sheriff's badge. Okay. Also, another gripe. Uh, Josh Brolin is not Clive Owen, and he never will be. Yeah. It, he was not a convincing Dwight. No, not really. Like he was. A, He's like, I got my face changed. Wait, I just have hair. Yeah, like he grew an emo. He grew emo haircut to give him hair like Dwight, but yeah. it didn't even do good. I, mean, I just kept expecting him to tell me that Goonies never die. You know, like who's Goonies never die? You never seen the Goonies? No, no. Ja- what? That that. Josh guy Brolin is in the Goonies, man. Is what? He's the older brother. Is he? Or the younger brother? He's one of the brothers. I didn't realize. That. Yeah, Josh Brolin is like from the Goonies. I thought you were gonna say he was sloth. I was no, like, what? <laughs> that would be pretty funny. If sloth hey, like you Dwight. guys! <laughs> if sloth played Dwight in the movie. <laughs> it might have been I got a new face, movie. motherfucker. Hey, what, dude, they fucking got a new fucking uh, Asian chick for the fucking. Yeah. That, that was for Miho. I know, but that's kind of racist. They're like, well, all Asians look the Side same. Side note? So. Yeah, yeah. Side note? My friend, my mom has a friend named uh, Miho. Is she hot? 
He murders people. Nice. Yeah. So they got a lot in common. But yeah, it seemed like uh, the stories were like the, the they didn't feel as high stakes to me personally because I know that everyone lives. Excellent. Like it, like they intertwine storylines in that movie that didn't belong to be intertwined. Well, two of the stories were not originally in the comics at all. Yeah. Like they were made for the movie. What, Marv, Marv killing Rourke or, or Jessica Alba or whatever and killing Rourke. I don't think that was in the... No, it's not. It, it and made, and that, that ruined it. Like, yeah. her cutting off her face, that didn't make any sense. Yeah, I know. Like, especially because she was still kind of hot with the fucking stitches on her face. Would you still, like, would you still like, nut it on her? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'd try to seep it into the stitches. Impregnate her face. Get inside you. But the other, uh, the other made-for-the-movie storyline with yeah. the gambler um, was good. I like yeah, Joseph, yeah. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. He did a really good I job. I think I have a man crush on Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Just like I do He's with awesome. Josh Hartnett? Dude, Josh Hartnett's awesome, too. I know. Have you seen Winter Park? I have. Dude, that movie's sweet. Dude, I watch everything that Josh Hartnett's in, man. Whenever it comes on, anything, like, new with him I, in wait, it, I pick I it th- up. I think it's... You have a condition where you like guys that look like they have sleepy eyes like you do. Yeah, I think it's true. Like, they're, like, always, like, really squinting. And they look like they're incredibly high, so every Asian. Yeah. It's all the time. What, who's that one guy from, uh... Uh... Harold and Kumar? The Asian guy? Uh... Do you have a man crush on him, too? John Cho. Yeah, do you have one on him? Nah, he's Korean. He's Asian. He's not a real Asian. He's not a... That's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> he looks really high. He does look high all the time. Maybe he is high. He probably is. He's in a stoner comedy. Yeah, I'm sure he's in a stoner. So was Amir, though. Amir was in the third one. There's a third one? Yeah, Harold Her- Her- Kumar I, Christmas. I don't even think I saw the second one all the way. second one's pretty funny, but not as good. Yeah, the, thir- the third one's terrible, but Amir is in it straight up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I remember... Uh, him like talking about that on Kyle Humor. I just went back and watched some of the old episodes that yeah, I don't no. remember seeing. I haven't kept up with it for a long time. I haven't either. And like, oh, you need to uh, check out this one thing. It's okay. I think it's called Bad Man. B A. Oh yeah, I've seen Bad Man. Yeah, like where he, he's dressed up as Batman. Batman, but shit. yeah, I know because yeah, yeah. like when we were talking about sex, I posted that a long time ago. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was like it, it was like uh. It's Bane and uh, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've seen it. There's I've seen all of them. They're hilarious. Yeah, I've only seen like the part of the one. That I thought that was pretty funny, but I would recommend everybody check out Bad Man on College. Yeah, Man. like like when he's like uh, beating up the birthday clown because he thinks it's a Joker. Yeah, see, I've seen that. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. But yeah, Bad Man's hilarious. No, I'm pretty sure we had sex. Because uh, fucking Patton Oswalt plays the penguin. Really? Yeah. Nice. But yeah, he's like. <laughs> How would you like to have something steal the whole heart and shoved into your body? And he's like, nothing? Really? Like, <laughs> no sex jokes? Sorry, I'm losing a lot of blood. <laughs> I'm yep. pretty sure we had sex. <laughs> How was that, by the way? I run around in a rubber suit all day long, uh, <laughs> stewing in my own juices. <laughs> and I had a shower. And... Yeah. yeah. It's it's good. Yeah, it's good but stuff. But back to the movie. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I won't recommend anybody seeing it. I'm probably going to buy it on DVD anyway because I like the first one and maybe watching them back to back will make it, me appreciate it. It was kind of depressing having no salesman played by Josh Hartnett. Yeah, Josh Hart- it wasn't like Josh Hartnett. Yeah. Just somebody of that caliber. Yeah. And Josh Brolin, he does good stuff and a good job and other stuff, but like I like can't what? see. Uh, he's really exactly. good. Exactly. Only the Goonies. No, oh, what? He's been in other He was in fucking uh, Planet Junk, Terror. No, Captain Chunk. Hey, dudes, are you ready? Hey, dudes. Yeah. But, yeah, he was in Planet Terror. He plays the... The Planet Arium? Yes. I have a speech impediment. I can't say it. I can only say the Planet Arium. Um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt was awesome in it, and, uh... Like... I don't know. I can just watch a movie about him being, like, all the worst. Like, have you seen the movie Brick? Brick Hamlet? No, just called Brick. It's no. It's starring fucking Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and it's like a modern-day war about a guy who's, like... Tr- uh, Is it like, the one where he rides the bike through town? They're well, after him? Well, he's like a, a detective. He's like a detective and like he's investigating a murder. And this is a completely different movie than I'm I, I don't know. About. I don't know what you're talking about. You're talking like about he's he, in a movie where he rides a bike through town and like guys are after him because he has some kind of package. Oh, no, dude. That movie sucked. Was he in that one? Yeah, he was in that. That way he's like the bike top, He's a bike guy. Like Has anybody seen uh, John Don or whatever you're talking about? Don right? John? Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. I told you. Yeah, besides you, I want somebody else. To, like, they can't. Help me they can't talk good. back to you right now. I know, but, but I, I'm I think pretty sure they can like contact. Yeah, they probably would. But Don John is for good. sex. He do, he not contacted me for anything but sex. Yep. Like if you're a milf and uh, you're down to fuck, uh, he 
you out Keith at yeah. Good Four Seven at yeah. Hotmail.com. Yeah, if you want to get dick down, holler at me. I'm, yep. I'm ready to go. And if you want to film it, holler at me, and we're gonna <laughs> put it online, and we'll fucking get this going. But Wait, are you gonna film me fucking them? Or are you gonna I, no, me I'm not gonna. Them? I'm gonna film you fucking them. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm fucking, yeah, I'm involved. Are you gonna do like ass cam, like, you, like? Nah, like, yeah, I want, I want, you, I want you to froggy style it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> See my asshole on there? Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I get plenty of asshole shots. <laughs> like I'm gonna start like at the top I, I, of your ass, I, go all the way around, and like settle the camera right below your balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've heard I have a good asshole. Like, I heard it's cute. A cute I don't know. A, that's cute, true. a cute asshole. Yeah, they told me I have a cute it's asshole. It's not blazing pink. <laughs> no. Okay. I guess not. I don't bleach my butthole. Oh, you should. should I? No. I think a neutral skin skin colored butthole is the best butthole. It's been lit. By no one. <laughs> <laughs> Not by this guy. No one's gonna fucking. That's gross, dude. Never look people's assholes ever. Unless, or get in, yours licked. Unless you love them. I, oh. <laughs> unless you love them. I guess. I guess that's okay. If you want to keep them around, you'll lick their butt. No. That's what you should have done. You should lick every girl's butt when you first meet them. That. That's what Joe Rogan says. If you really love somebody, you gotta lick their asshole. Yeah, that's the only way to prove it. Yeah. If you can lick someone's butthole, then you can put up with anything else they do. What if they shit on your tongue? Then you can did put you, up with it. Did you know this stat I heard the other day? Okay. That 95% of girls who uh, wear thongs have, like, poop particles on their thong because the thong goes up their asshole. I believe that. Yeah. And, like, that's why they always have to buy new underwear all the time because they get shit on their thong. That's why they're always constantly buying underwear. Have well, you ever thought about that? But did you say 95%? Like, where did you get this stat? I don't know. It was on a show. Okay. They, said, they said it was, like, ni- probably 95%. I bet you it's, it's more... hundred. Yeah, it's probably closer to 100. So, like, if you wear a thong, you're probably going to shit on your thong. That's why girls... Because are... even if you fucking thoroughly wipe your ass and baby wipe it and everything... But it's going up your ass. Yeah, and I'm just talking about, in general, like, just a regular underwear, you're going to have poop particles on there. Sure. Well, every time you fart, poop gets pushed out. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean... But, like... But some people have dingleberry cases. But, like, but like, Matt Norman, he uses his dad's mustache clippers to cut them out. That's really fucked up. But he did it. I know. It's gross. I know. I Matt Norman, you, if you're I, listening to this, Matt, that's Matt, fucking I'm gross. I'm sorry that he said that on No, no, Matt, that's fucking gross. Why would you do that to your dad? <laughs> do you hate him? Do you hate your dad? I know, what the you fuck? Do have dad issues? Do we need to address them also, on one, the podcast? Also, one time you put poopy hands in a girl's mouth. So that is true. That's also that, gross. That is... Yeah. <laughs> that's just, a true story. Son, I'm there. disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, where has he been? He moved up to Aurora. He's like a he's like a boss of like a couple stores now. Oh, nice. Good yeah, for him, like man. getting like forty or fifty thousand. I think. Oh, that's awesome. I hope no one ever listens to this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good for well, him. I'm good, but you're fucked. No, no, I'm not talking about like in terms of making him mad because he's he's good at rolling with the punches about that kind of shit. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about his employees. <laughs> oh yeah. What do you mean? Like if they hear about it, they're like, "Hey, boss, I heard you fucking put." Yeah, but, then, but then he can just fucking slap them in the face and be like, now you got shit in your face, dude. <laughs> yep, like, ha <laughs> Um, yeah, the movie, I wouldn't recommend seeing it if you're a fucking, if you're like a huge fan of that kind of stuff, though. You might want to yeah, just check it out Sin when it comes on DVD. So good. Oh, yeah, Sin City 1, so much better. It was, this was kind of disappointing. Like, there was no, yeah. like, none of the characters I'm, in this I'm one a, made honestly, me, like, think that they were really cool. Honestly, the whole Dwight thing kind of sucked. It just wasn't the same. Yeah. Well, they needed Clive Owen. Like, it just was not the same. Like, even I think even the writing felt weaker. Like, the narration just didn't feel as good. Yeah. And there wasn't, like, as much of them. Like, like it felt like they did try to do homages a lot to the first movie. Like, shout-outs to that. Like, using lines, I guess. Yeah. Not, but, like, a lot, but just, like, references. Yeah, just, like, I guess, I mean, like, that's kind of what they, people do with sequels. But this, I don't know, man. I just, it, like... Yeah, but this is supposed to be, like, a prequel. Yeah, this was definitely weaker. If this film had come out first, I probably would have liked it a lot more. Because I wouldn't have had something, like, it's so fresh in really my mind. Good to yeah, compared to... And then, like, the second one... Well, did you watch it recently? Yeah. I think... I, did. yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't I watched watch it today it. before we I left. didn't watch it beforehand, but, like, I remember a lot of it because yeah. I liked it, so... But, yeah, it, it I mean... If this that movie came out first, I probably would have liked it a lot more, and then like the second one would have fucking blew my mind because of how much like leaps and bounds better I it is. I watched it. Do you watch TV dramas? I don't have cable. Oh. But like, what are you talking about? Because have, have you watched Vikings? I have. Vikings is fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I I've seen like 
not consecutive episodes, but episodes here and there. Yeah. And so like it doesn't like mesh very well. But what I've liked, I've seen. So I'm waiting for the second season to come out on DVD. I'm just gonna buy the first and second and just yeah. like watch it from here. Yeah, because Trish got me hooked on it. Like, it's, it's, I'm like what I've seen so far. She was like, "Do you like you like Walking Dead and stuff like that, where it's like like good storyline, but like a, kind of like a ridiculous premise?" And I was like, "Yeah, well, this isn't a ridiculous premise." Well, I know, but I mean, like, it's not it's like historically it's a, accurate. But it's not historically accurate, but it's it's vaguely accurate. Yeah, kind like, of. Like it's not. Like they're fictional characters, but like yeah, I know. I mean, some, but like they, some of the shit they, happens happen like in yeah, I know. But they kind of take it over the top. Some of it. I mean, what do you mean? Like some of the battles and stuff. Like it didn't really go down like that, dude. Come on. Like like example. I, I need an example. I've seen these bits and pieces. I haven't. Seen, okay, like, then you things. probably haven't seen it, but you'll see it. And I don't want to spoil it for you. Just fucking tell me, because well, because there's like some it's like it's over the top. I know there, I've seen like them like do battles and it's a lot of one on one stuff. Yeah, that's not how battles work. I don't know. I don't. I don't know that for sure. I don't know. All right. The, like, but like, like I did like they it. They didn't. They didn't like walk, lock shields and shield walls all the time. No, like, I know that. Especially because like a lot of like a lot of the battles it's, are it's skirmishes. Chaos. Yeah. It, it's like complete chaos. It's like once you like get the initial like lines crossing, it's just like everywhere you're fighting. Yeah, I know that. But, but you'll see. You'll see as the story series progresses. You'll see. Okay. You'll see what I'm talking about. You'll be like, okay. So, but it is really good. It, it is really good. Like, I'm not saying that it's not good. I don't... Everything I've seen so far, the battles and, like, the storylines and the characters, I've liked. Like, it's really cool. It's a really cool yeah. show. And Have I, you seen Game of Thrones? I it, think that's really amazing. Uh, Game of Thrones is not really amazing. Really? Like, it's okay. I mean, I, I, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. You're the first person I've ever heard I about say it's good. Let me, let me just put it this way, dude. Like, Game of Thrones is, like, it's got a pretty kind of cool storyline. Like, it, I'll give it that. Are you saying it, like progresses downhill pretty no, 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 not even that, it's just, I can't get into it, it is what? way too much about the sex, really, yeah, like, I can watch regular porn, I don't need it to be surrounded by dirty people of fucking their sisters, like, I don't need that, oh, you like, see people boning, yeah, but it's not like pornography, you, you but it's like soft porn, no, you know, obviously not, okay, so, i but, seen, i seen, like, one episode, like, a standalone episode, I had no idea of anything before it, or after it, I saw the one episode, so I didn't know everything about it. But what I saw, though, was just that one episode I liked, and that was like in the middle of some season. Some of it, no some of it can be cool, it, it, but the, it's just too much. Okay. It's too over sexualized, and that's coming from me. All right, have you seen Spartacus? Yeah, it's it's like that, but worse. There's more so sex. The only episode of Spartacus I call it is like the one. Oh fuck! I didn't and see she's that. In, she's in Game of Thrones also. She gets banged. So. All right. She's, I didn't see that, no. She's going no, all around this Unfortunately, bank. I caught that episode where they were, like, trying to pick slaves for this role. This wealthy uh, girl got to pick, like, which one she wanted to fuck of, like, the slaves or whatever. And, like, they had all the dongs exposed. I caught that episode where everybody has their dick out. Oh. I fucking caught that one. The, of all the episodes. The dick out episode? Yeah. And she's like, I want that one. Like, the huge, big ass, huge dong. So that I was, was like, me. what? I was, I was like, stunt cock. <laughs> you just stunt cock. Yeah. Like, there's this, like, massively buff guy that just pans to you, and you're like, yeah. yeah. It's like they photoshopped. Like, How did Ron Jeremy get in there? Yeah, they photoshopped my head on his yeah, body. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, why did I have to, like, catch this episode to so see you if see, I like it or not? You've seen my dick. Just so you know. That was you? You've seen it. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, that was so small. Yeah. I thought you were Asian. Uh, now I know. They're like, there's Asian slaves in Rome? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. They conquered Asia? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Game of Thrones is, okay, like, I, I... What, so what's, what's wrong with Game of Thrones? I don't know, man, like, I watched it, and, like, it's, first of all, it's too fucking depressing. Like, I know that there's no good happy ending for anyone in that show. Why? Is it based off real shit? No, it's, it's, what? There's dragons and shit. Oh, is there? I haven't seen it. I, there was no dragons in episode I saw. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you that. There was probably they might not have been, but there are in the, in the series. Like it's, it's about dragons and stuff. Okay. But uh, it's like everyone is fucked, and there's no happy ending. And like I don't like I that. There just is. Like just you can just, if you watch it, you'll get it. You'll be like, oh my god! Like everyone here is gonna fucking die. Why? Because it's just the way. There's so many houses. Is that like nations? Yeah. Like kinda. they're different nations. Yeah, kind of houses. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's their thing. Like, or are they allies? It's kind of like it's more like it's one nation, but like, uh, it's like those are all like dukedoms and shit. Okay. And that's kind of what it's like. Except they're they all, all fucking all hate those, each other. They're all rivaling to be the number one. Yeah, and one of them's like real, the good guys, and like, but they keep getting fucked considerably over and over. There's a midget, and he's awesome. In the yeah, show. I saw the midget. He's, he's like a lord. Or, he's like a 
Duke, isn't he? Yeah, he's actually really good in that show. I'll give him that, man. He's fucking amazing. How did, how did he become Duke? Uh, because he was born in. He was born into being the Duke? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's like, you're the Duke! He didn't even do anything. He's the Duke of Juke. The Duke of Juke. He's like on the football field, like, pulling Barry Sanders shit. But he's like, like... He's so underhanded, it's awesome. He's like, he's one of those characters that me and you like. Just start screaming at. He's chaos? Kinda, but he's so underhanded and like trying to fucking just, like his own agenda. But aren't they all trying to fuck everybody? Yeah, but he's like especially trying to fuck everybody. Listen, just because he can, yeah. not because he wants to. And then Sean Bean dies in it too, but he dies Sean in everything. Bean. Is that a course from Corey and Corey? What? No. <laughs> what the fuck is Corey and Corey? <laughs> Isn't that a show like where it's like, Corey and Topanga and like that. Boy Meets World? Yeah, like the college No, dude. Or something. Okay, first of all, <laughs> there's a guy's name was Sean Hunter. Oh, or yeah, it's Sean. There you go. And, uh, Why does it say Corey and Corey? Because his name is Ryder Strong in real life, not Sean Bean. I don't believe that. But he, it's yeah. Sean Bean, damn it. Because Sean Bean is a more realistic last name, first name, or full name than Ryder Strong. <laughs> yeah. Is that guy in porn? Is he spelled Ryder with a, a Y or an I? R Y D E R. Fucking hate this. I know. He's like totally straight from the 90s. <laughs> There's a girl named Ryder and like the guys always joke about like, eh, I got nothing else to do, might as well have a Ryder. Does she super sexual harassment? No. She fucks a lot though. Nice. She fucks a lot of different dudes. Dude, I like that. Makes you interesting. Why is she not fucking us? Because she fucks the Jersey Shore guys. Yeah. And I'm from the Jersey Shore. Yeah, I know, but we can act like it. But we don't look like it. You kind of do. Not yeah. really. You got a full lot going. I know. And but you work out. I mean, if you just toned it down, and you just got just said, fuck it, I'm just going to get ripped right now. No more legs. No legs day ever. No legs day. It's just all of her body. <laughs> all of her body. So, I can, bump, all... so I can fucking flex your tits. Yeah, exactly. You want boobs, boobs on your arms. That's, that's the only reason. Why would you go to the gym for anything else? Certainly not for health. <laughs> yeah. The more titties you have on your yeah, You're right? going to flex tits. If they can't flex titties, they're not what's happening. Yep. Yeah. Fuck them. No, literally. Fuck them. Yeah. I would. Bro. Bro. Jager bombs. Jager bombs, Jager bombs, Jager bombs. But like while we're nearing Pontiac in our home stretch here. Fuck you. Um, so final thoughts on the movie? Nay. Nay. Sorry, guys. Uh, maybe rent it when it comes out and watch it before you watch the original Sin City. And like I don't know. Watch don't it that know. way and then it might work for you a little bit. Uh, just don't have, just like before you see it, haven't watched the original Sin City. It for a long time. <laughs> uh, I, I haven't seen the original for a long time, but I still remember it. And yeah, it doesn't they don't? Those two movies don't mesh very well. It was like when I watched when 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 saw Rob Zombie and Marilyn Manson. Yeah. Like I saw Manson and I was like, that was a pretty good show. But then Rob, then Rob Zombie came on and then like afterwards I was like, wow, Marilyn Manson kind of sucks. Because like compared to Rob Zombie, Marilyn Manson does suck. He put on way better shows. Rob, Rob Zombie's show was fucking amazing. Yeah, and like they were co-headliners, so it wasn't like you got screwed over by time. Like they had the exact same amount of time. And Rob Zombie just fucking killed it. Did uh, Marilyn Manson use that big podium like he used to use? Yeah, and he did a bunch of costume changes and stuff. He had, he had a bunch of cool stuff up there. It just it wasn't as good. Really? Yeah. I wonder why. I, just, I don't know. You'd have, you should you could have been there, fucker. <laughs> I ow. Remember, I had the ticket. I was like, just meet us here, and you're like, nay. No, I was like already. I was somewhere else. Yeah, I know. I wasn't there. You should have definitely canceled that to come see Rob Zombie. I had the fucking ticket in my hand. But I, but I was in Chicago. I the was concert sure. was like south or something. Should have made it. It was in Bloomington. Oh yeah, I was in Chicago. They're like, you're like, there's an hour before the show. Can you somehow? It was way longer somehow. than an hour no, because we ate dinner beforehand. Oh wait, I was hanging out with chicks or hang out with a chick. Yes. Trying okay. Trying to make that happen. That's yeah, why. Okay, I'll give you that. I wish we could have came. Yeah, I remember because I took Anita. Yeah. Maybe. What? I took Anita to a lot of concerts. Fuck you. you. Fuck you. You're fucking cum guzzling ball gobbler. Yep. Call me Gonad the Ballbarian. <laughs> That's actually a sweet name. I want a character name, though. Gonad the Ballbarian. Gonad the Ballbarian. <laughs> Yep, here we are back in our Sunday I'm Simon room. Kellogg, and the only thing that strikes me is large breasts. <laughs> I'm a professional mall cop. Large I'm Paul Dwight. Paul Dwight. I'm, dude, I'm totally gonna make that guy. I know. It's gonna be shitty. It'd be all, he could team up with Jeremiah in like the uh, menial jobs team. <laughs> <laughs> the janitor and the mall cop. 
They're the craziest motherfuckers you've ever met in your life. <laughs> we had a job squad. Yeah, like literally, like we have job squad, like fry cook in there, like a chef. <laughs> Fucking meat cleavers like in the Bruce Lee movie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can't get a meat cleaver in the game. Though. Oh, well, it's frying a wrestling pan. game. Frying pan, though. I don't think it's a I think a frying pan is one of the weapons, is it? I think so, dude. You become the chairman of the board. They need to have a plunger for you. Oh. They can dive and also and bag the windows. windows. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all about dynamic entrances. <laughs> And, uh, all right, so as we're closing down here from the Most Hated Podcast. I guess we know where all the talent that is. Me? This is the Most Hated Podcast. I'm Brogan. Peace out, bitches. Suck on D's nuts. I didn't say my name. Oh, well, he's D. Suck on D's nuts. <laughs>